Dishonesty, disinformation, and getting dissed by my mama. Let's take a look at the leaderboard before we move into the final round. Dion, Gillian, Shannon, 20 points. Oh. Joel, 10. <laughs> and since this is the final round, you know the points are double. It's not fair. All right, let's meet our final guest. Ask good questions. <laughs> you hear that? I think my mother gave that statement for you, Joel. What <laughs> ask good questions? Okay, what's going on back here right Beekeepers. now? Beekeepers. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a good one. Oh yeah. Oh, this is good. Yeah, it's good. Gentlemen, please introduce yourselves. I am a kung fu master. I am a kung fu master. I am a kung fu master. All right, here's this person's story in their own words. You've probably heard of Kung Fu because of Bruce Lee, mm -hmm. David Carradine, Jackie Chan, or maybe even the Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> but if you want to stop watching Kung Fu and start learning it, you should come see me. I teach Shaolin Kung Fu, a centuries-old martial art that I have studied since I was a young monk in China. Then, when I defected to New York City, I founded the first Shaolin temple in the U.S. I've learned how to break rocks with my skull. I've also been trained to dangle a 50-pound weight from my scrotum. <laughs> Shaolin nice. Kung Fu is my life, and I am lucky to have taught hundreds of students, including plenty of celebrities. See? Everybody is Kung Fu fighting. Uh -huh. One of these people is the real kung fu master and is the only one who has been sworn to tell the truth. Gentlemen, hi! Please take a seat. <laughs> Gillian, do you have any questions yes, you'd like to ask? So many. <laughs> uh, do you guys like crossword puzzles? <laughs> I do. Number two, why do you hang a 50 pound weight from your scrotum? Inquiring minds want what a to no. know. <laughs> You train martial arts, you must train every single part of your body. How long do you let a 50 pound weight hang from your scrotum? Number three. I did that when I was a little boy in China. I don't know if you'd have made it to a man if you did that when you was a little boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it might have stopped right there. <laughs> Number three, when you hang that weight on your scrotum, <laughs> now that you use the bathroom, are they in the water? <laughs> <laughs> uh, number two, why are you dressed in orange? I feel comfortable. That color fits me nicely. <laughs> you just like the color orange and decided that's what the Shaolins would be wearing? Shaolin temple monks wear different kind of robes. When you arrive in New York, you're like, it's all orange from here on out, guys. <laughs> Number three, what year did you open that temple? 1963. Number one, what year did you open the temple? 1997. Number two, what year did you open your temple? I opened the U.S. Shaolin Temple in 1994. Number one, how long have you been practicing Shaolin? Well, I started when I was five. And because I couldn't sit still, therefore my mom sent me straight to Shaolin Temple to get more mm -hmm. discipline. What, but what Shaolin Kung Fu is from where in China, and why is it different from other Kung Fus? Well, first of all, I came from Fujian province. And after that, I brought a style straight to New York City in 1995. You just said 1996. 95. He came in 95, he opened the studio in 96. Okay. You thought he opened the studio as soon as he got here, huh? No, no, no. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. I was with you until he explained it. <laughs> Number one, what does Shaolin mean? First of all, it's a baby tree. You gotta grow it. You gotta nurture it. And take time to let it go. He's smooth. He is. He's smooth. <laughs> Number one, who is the best martial artist of all, time. of all time? Well, of course, at this moment, I have to say Bruce Lee. That's number three. Number three, same question. <laughs> Bruce Lee, but now he's gone. He's done in Santo. I would say he is very good. Okay, how many kids you have, number one? I have two. 
Number two. Out of two. Two, three. I ain't no kid. No kid. Uh huh. That stole him. He can't handle no damn. That's a good one, Mama. Mama, that's a good one. So our time is up. Let's see who our panel think is the real Shaolin master. One, two, or three. I want to win. Let's see. I have no I clue. Feel like wow, been I am for really a long time. So then, but the first one that opened. All right, audience, something. who do you think it is? Three. Okay. Okay. Joel, let's start with you. I don't think it's two because the answer of I just like orange didn't make sense to me because I would think that there would be some Shaolin tradition of why it was orange. Yes. And the other thing about one and two is that I think Shaolin came long ago and not in the 90s. So it's number three. All right. Dion. Number one is just too smooth. I mean, you just... <laughs> You're a great actor. I mean, right after this show, you're going to get booked. I promise you. <laughs> Number two, I love your posture. But you seem a bit young to really come over here and do what you've accomplished. And Pop, on the end, <laughs> I like you, Pop. I've been riding with three this whole show. I'm riding with you, Pop. Oh, All man. right. Gillian, who do you think it is? Who do you think is our kung fu master? Number and why? three, but with no confidence and no clear logic behind my decision. Number three. Shannon. I'm looking at the way number one is sitting, and he's sitting like he hung 50 pounds. Oh. That's why I came over here to look, man. I went with one. You went with one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Everybody's locked in. Will the um. real kung fu master please stand up when we come back after this commercial oh. break? We should have went with three, then we've been tired. Welcome back to To Tell the Truth. Now, before the break, our celebrities locked in their guesses as they tried to identify the real kung fu master. It's the moment of truth. Will the real kung fu master please Come on, three. stand up? Better yet, levitate. Sir. Awesome. All right, nice to meet you. Me too. Please introduce yourself. My name is Shi Yanming. I'm the most handsome Shanta monk on the earth. Wow. And he just likes orange. He just likes orange. Look, look. Look at him. He got the woo. Wow. Is that alcohol in that drink, in that picture? Are you allowed to drink alcohol? I call it special water. Special <laughs> water. All right. Uh, imposter number one, please tell us your name and about yourself. Hi, my name is Jack Huang. I'm a martial artist who owns two stunt schools in Los Angeles. All right. Thank you. All right, Jack. Number three, please tell us your name and all about yourself, sir. I am Bert Matthias, Anthony, uh -huh. and uh, I am no kung fu master, but he is. <laughs> all right. Shifu, you're a kung fu master. Time to show us what you got, my friend. All right. Wow. Officially tonight's worst player. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Walk over to my mother, Joel. 
Come here, Dammy. <laughs> <laughs> Wear the crown proudly. See? It said dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> Take a good look at you. Is there anything you'd like to say? Uh, well, I'm sorry. That's all the time the... we have for this week. What I'd the... like to thank our guests, the T Rex of Honor, Oprah's Predator, our professional beekeeper, the New York Times crossword editor, and our Kung Fu master, Chi Fu. Don't forget our wonderful imposters and my celebrity panel, our loser Joel, Gillian, Dion, Primetime Sanders, and Shannon Sharp. And most importantly, my beautiful mama Doris. We'll see you next time on the Jelly Tune.